Hello everyone, welcome back to Using Pinterest for Your Business. I'm Victor Campos. So on the last video, we set up our Pinterest account and customized our profile a bit. Now let's actually see what Pinterest is all about. At the top left corner, you have uh, a couple of things, a search bar. We'll see how that, what we do with that soon. And then the good old Pinterest home button. I'm gonna click on that Pinterest home button right there and what that does is it takes me back to my Pinterest home screen and what this is this is this is Pinterest this is the this is what all the fuss is about it's this infinitely uh, scrolling screen of pictures of, of content of things that I'm interested in I'm getting all of this stuff because on my first video when we created our account uh, we followed or I followed seven accounts so people post content on Pinterest just like every other, um, just like every other uh, social network. And then if something strikes your fancy, you interact with it, such as this: no bake chocolate chip cookie dough truffles made with no eggs. So that's interesting to me, uh, and I've got some statistics below it. Pinned favorites comments. So just like the other social networks, there's ways to interact. Well, comments are comments. People write something positively and interact, and you can mention other people, and they get notified. OK, comments, that's easy. Favorites, that's um, just like the other networks. You kind of give it a thumbs up, you give it a plus one, you give it a like, you give it a favorite here. You loved it. So it's an endorsement sort of thing. And then the next level up is the is the repin, where you take that pin and spread it uh, among your followers. Mm -hmm. So you should be getting, uh, you should be a, a, an old hat with this if you've watched my other videos. What I want to do is, I really like this, so what I can do is if I hover over anything, I get, um, I get the, um, the the action so I've got pin it send and favorite that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna click the heart and now I favorited it so I'm gonna go on and see what else what else appears here uh, this about paleo seems interesting uh, so what I'm gonna do in this case I'm going to actually pin it I'm going to click that, and then it says, you collect your pins on boards. So everything's nice and organized. So what I'm doing here is I'm pinning something. I'm repinning it from someone else onto my board, onto my boards. So that means my followers will see that content. I haven't created a board yet, so that's what I need to do first. And here are some examples places to visit, stuff to buy, projects to try, etc. I'm going to create my own board. Paleo. So I'm going to collect content related to this theme. Paleo. So I'll create it. This picture is going to be pinned to my paleo board. Then there's a spot for me to either keep the keep the, um, the description that came with it or add my own or add to this one. So this person said, I do not strictly adhere to paleo, but these are nice guidelines. And then a mention here, so at Jess will be mentioned. Um, so I'm going to add my own content. What I like to do is put in quotes what the original message was, the original description, and then add my own. I'm going to write here, um, it's easier than you think. I will select to pin it. So it says, you've officially pinned your first pin. And uh, I get the screen here, which might disappear for you quickly. But what's happening here is this particular account that I followed had a pin board already set up all about paleo and grain-free diets with 2,208 pins, which are the, the pictures, the content that everyone shares. I can choose to follow that board and I will see more of that content on my home timeline. Now, as I said, that goes away if you don't interact with it. That's okay. 
So what else can we see here? Uh, broccoli cheddar quinoa bites. That seems interesting. So what I could do, I can also click the picture itself to sort of zoom in on it. And again, I get the option to pin like visit site. If I click visit site, it goes back to the originating site. This is alitaskitchen.com. And again, this is, uh, this is what I'm saying about Pinterest, that it's got a built-in feature where people click on anything that you post, you pin, and it takes them back to your site. So we'll get back to that. But uh, then we can add our own comment to this. So what are we going to say here? Broccoli, cheddar, quinoa bites, ingredients, etc. I'm going to say, seems too easy to be true. We can't wait to try it ourselves. Again, positivity breeds positivity. Be positive, you will get positive back. I'm going to comment on that. Oops, your email address needs to be confirmed to complete your request. So that's one of the reasons why you want to confirm your email address. So hopefully I get my email here to confirm it soon, and then I'll be able to comment. Okay, I'll get back to that. So what else? Rich, fudgy, flourless brownies. Let's say I like that and I want to pin it. And this is going to go over to, so this description says, looking for a gluten-free recipe? Look no further. Okay, I'm going to make a new board and call that gluten-free. So everything related to gluten-free will be added there. And this time I'll just add it as is. Um, you might get an option about making a new board, adding it to map, and inviting friends to pin. This is basically saying if you, uh, if this is at a location, you can add it to a map. This is a good idea if you do take, uh, if you do upload content from your physical location, you want people to find you in the real world. In my case, no. And then I can invite people to help me manage or help me add content to my boards. This is how I can have other people in my, or in my organization add to uh, a board, add content. At the moment, I'll, I'll just cancel that out. And then again, uh, this time I will select to follow the suggestion because that's 1,226 more pins that could show up in my, in my timeline here. So one last one. This is addicting. Baked avocado with goat cheese, zucchini, and balsamic vinegar. So for this one, uh, it's got seven pins and one favorite. If you click on any of these, uh, then it switches over to who has repinned a particular item. Where did it go to? So... Let's say then I'm interested and I can follow another board. Okay, well, I'm going to, at the top right, click on my profile name here. And uh, what that does is it takes me back to my, uh, my, my profile page. Notice the address at the top. That's my profile page. That's the address I want to use when I share my profile. This is what I've got so far. Two boards, two pins, two likes. I've liked two pictures, I've pinned two pictures, and I've got two boards. So this is a, a quick intro to using Pinterest. Come back on our next video. We'll get more in-depth how to use it more effectively.